Hello everybody. How are you guys doing this week? Hopefully doing pretty good, doing pretty great. And you know what, even if you're not doing so right, you're not having kind of a bad day, hopefully this video helps you, you know, brighten it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, as always, we are back. Doing Salute Hero. Um, and yeah. I think, if I remember correctly, we we're gonna keep doing Necromancer stuff at the end. Judging by the fact that I have no villages, wheat fields, or mountains. I think so. Yeah, we got the outpost that I'm allowed to speak to, so. That's gonna be weird, but I'm gonna keep trying it out. I don't really have a goal exactly for this week in terms of like farming and progging and honestly, progging and like progressing through the game. Trying to beat the angel lady. Just gonna try to play and see what happens. But, um. I'm gonna play some Necromancer. I did some more rogue, even though I, I didn't really get much with the rogue. I did like one short run, and I did because I wanted to keep my fancy jeweler's lens. Which now that I look at these side by side, that frying pan looks a lot like a magnifying glass. Huh. But yeah, I'm just nothing, no fanciness. Just we're gonna we're gonna play, see what happens. I guess let's see if we can go for something. I know I really want the smelter. I feel like it's just like it's been there forever. Like I've been, I've been had access to it for, since the start of the game, but I just haven't been like I, just, I haven't had the metal. So I've just been using it and everything else. I don't need mud huts. I don't think I need warehouse right now. Uh, I don't like. I I think I just hit the limit on items I can use at once. And honestly, I, I have a lot of not so great ones compared to what could be like another jeweler's lens or another brass candlestick. That I could probably trade and swap out until I really need better things. So I'm gonna focus on getting the smelter. Watchtower is cool, but also not necessary since it doesn't help the boss. Forest, I don't even want to look at until I get the lumberjack. I'm excited for library, but I don't know what these little things are. I can't get river, so yeah. We're just gonna focus on getting the smelter. And then from there, we just need to beat the boss, because I don't really know how to proceed. Other than just go forward. I thought, you know what, let me look at the... Let me see if I somehow I can't get this. Oh yeah, the... Feel the blade, those are rough. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to lock my door and put my sign up so my sister just walked in. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, I'm very, very hungry right now. We ordered pizza, so hopefully, uh, it'll be here soon. There's gonna be a weird cut sometime, probably within this first loop, because I need to eat. But I also needed to record. And I want to do it all in one night. Does it say what she drops? Doesn't it just says those? Okay, so I need more dark slimes. Cause that that might be what I need. Uh, the fabric is no the fabric. There's a lot of living fabric. What the heck, dude? Everything is with living fabric. Yeah, I need to I need to use the beacon things. Top tier one. Alright. I opened this page right here. Oh. I get to fight some more than four enemies, so I need to have stuff like the spider layer and the goblin people to like have more than one. Okay. Well, heck. Do I even have any like small bits of that? I don't think so. Okay, so I need to I need to have some big fights. Oh crap. 
Okay, well, one second, real quick. I'm gonna fix my door so I don't <laughs> make anyone else feel awkward. So I'll be right. One second. I also forgot to turn my fan off, so I'm doing great for the start of this recording, I'm sorry. Okay, so I need lots of enemies, which sucks, because that's usually what kills me, is a lot of enemies. And I feel like the best way to do that would be Spider Cocoon. But it also... Well, okay, I was gonna say I need the temporal beacons because I don't know what the- there's an unknown thing that they give me. But if I don't- if that's not the, the fragments of whatever, then I don't need them, right? Like... I'll set that for later. For now, I'm gonna put spiders- uh, well, I have to have one of these. Uh... Scorch Swarm, maybe? I don't want to do village because that just adds to difficulty for almost no reason. <sighs> Stupid ruins. It might really suck, but let's do that. I have the I have an extra revive, so this should be fine. I'll see. Why not? I mean, it's like I said. I'm just playing to see what happens. So if something goes great, awesome. If it doesn't, also. Well, never mind. Let me fix this real quick. Boom. Flashlight, lightning. Ooh, already got the spider cocoon. Also, ah, oh, one spot right in the middle. Perfect. 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 That might help mitigate. Like, I know the goal right now is to get four enemies at once to get the orbs expansion. But, I still don't want to be overrun by spiders, especially early on. So, I'll try to put it between so maybe they have a chance of, like, off putting each other. I want to text my sister, tell her sorry for not locking my door. And also to tell her if she don't mind texting me when pizza gets here. Because I, like I said, I'm very hungry. Uh, I don't really have any fancy ideas in terms of, uh, like, terrain placements. That's like, sort of that. I think I'm gonna try to keep these away from our enemies to go get spawned. So like right here, I don't want any ruins. Let's do like there. Dang it, I'm not fast enough for this anymore. I used to be really fast at texting. I love seeing the extra crossbow on my side, it's so cool. Maybe maybe I should build some more outposts, man, I love them. They're not super useful, like, they're not that big of a deal. Especially because I use the our old lanterns next to the king. But, it, I, I, it's cool. I'm gonna max out all four though, because I mean, why wouldn't I? Maybe I'll, uh... Maybe I'll start using road lanterns more like around the lanes just to make sure that I get use out of the uh, ye old outposts. I 
Let's see if putting these meadows next to things. Even if I don't have Chrono Crystals, putting them next to things is just the best option. So I'm, I'm gonna try to keep doing that. Especially when treasures come around, that's when you get the good loot. That's right, I have cemeteries. Uh, okay, so this will be Ruin Avenue. We've got Spiderville and Skele Skelezone over here. This is probably going to be the death of me, but I really want to see just a massive amount of spiders right here. Um, I don't want to stop on a weird spot. I'll, I'll wait just a little bit. Ah, scorch worms. You're cool. I wonder if since they're shooting my backline, if they do more damage. Probably not because they still have the. Archer and close combat buff. That'd be kind of a neat thing, right? Doing a diagonal line. You know what? Screw it, dude. Let's just do weird patterns. No reason not to, right? What? If I could just get really high summon quality and really high attack speed, I feel like Necronauts would be broken. I feel like that's basically the same as having max evasion and rogue. it against heck. Other than that. Which is kind of bothered me since I want to make a pattern. So an efficiency. 6% oh, man. Oh that pose. Okay, well this is perfect. Oh dude, wait, wait, wait. This is is not perfect because I made both tiles that okay well you know what this would be an amazing help considering I, I want to have a bunch of things on one spot this would help me kill them and get the the orbs so this is actually pretty cool like even if I lose items yeah whatever ah okay well I have to put it like here for now that, that's gonna be super good later man if I could put it right there I kinda wish it went on the road, but I understand why it doesn't. And technically you get more spaces that way, but it's just like, oh man, that'd be perfect. This is a forest. Um, it's... Last week I talked quite a bit about Final Fantasy XI. 
Uh, I, things have changed a little bit. I'm actually, I'm playing Final Fantasy 14 again. Surprise, it's weird. You probably think I don't know how to count. So I went from 13 to, to 11, and now I'm 14. But, um, I just, I don't know, I, I, I gave 11 a lot of praise, and I, ooh, I, just picked, I still think it's a really good game. Well, there's a lot of good things about it, but I just, it's very old, and to the point to where a lot of the early quests are just ridiculously vague. It's when you have to look at a wiki page constantly, or else you will not know what to do without asking other people. And sometimes the quests just don't even have a quest dialogue. Like, that's the thing in, like, Classic WoW, or, like, if you... Um, this might kill me. Uh, it's like, so you have to read all the quests, and that's fine, because you have a quest dialogue box that you, like, you can read, and it tell you what to do. That's fine. And they're very descriptive, and they tell you what to do almost all the time. But in Final Fantasy XI, there's, even if there is quest text, it's very minimal, and most of the time, and sometimes there just aren't even, like, sometimes there are quests in the game that don't even pop up in a quest log. You just have to like do what like what the game thinks. Like you have to kind of just figure it out like a puzzle, which sounds cool for most games. But for an MMO, like I don't want to look at a wiki page all the time, so I kind of went to back to 14. Uh... Whoa, that's actually insane. That's super insane. Unseen care is nuts. Oh my lord, I can't, that's gonna get huge. Look, look, it went up to 82! Oh my god, that's, that's freaking nuts. Yeah, no, this, I, I really like 11. There's so many things I really like about Final Fantasy 11. But like I said, I just didn't want to stare at a wiki page for every single thing I did. And so, I'm playing 14 again. I'm having fun. I am enjoying myself. So, I, I, I mean, there's nothing bad with it. I'm enjoying myself. All that I have to say about it, really. I'm, I'm learning tank, so that's cool. Uh... What is? Oh, it's my my friends, my 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 oh, pussy pool. Two arms, two arms. The dead are at the gate. No, wait. I'm not going to harm anyone, or at least those who don't want to harm me. Actually, I could hurt many. Come to think of it, doesn't matter. I'm trying to save this world, and I need help. Oh yeah. And how do you plan to save the world? We're raising the corpses of our relatives from the ground. Maybe you could resurrect the dead, but but are not our desire to help you. All these undead are disgusting. It's a disease that must be exterminated, and those who spread it should be the first to perish. Fighting evil monsters as we speak, does that mean nothing to you? Open your eyes. Yeah, it means that it's, it's a very convenient opportunity to get rid of you both at the same time. Archers, shower them with arrows until they understand that the apocalypse is the least of their troubles. Are you, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So is it just because I'm a necromancer, or do they just always be stupid? I guess I'm gonna have to try this again as a row next time. Or would that even help with it being a row? Man. That's wacky. Still no orb of expansion though. Oh yeah. I was talking about 11 when I was doing this. Okay, so we got a minor spin. The best weapon if you get in a fight with a mountain, <laughs> any other rock won't have a chance against neither, of course. What's on pebbles? I'll pass. I can't fire the time. Okay. Don't really need rock as much, but when I do, I know what to put, put on. They both survived? Rip. Alright, let's get to the campfire real quick, and I'm gonna pause for a little bit to go eat pizza. Alright. Boom! 
I'll be right back. If you were to be a couple seconds for me, that would be like 15 minutes. So, anyway. BRB.